want to begin investing, but I don't know how to find the funds besides personal loans. My husband wants to use creative financing, but I don't know. We're stuck right now. At our home flipping workshop, which we just had last weekend, we go over that in detail. So I don't have enough time to answer all the, all the ways to do it on here, but I will tell you, creative financing is certainly one of them, right? Private money is another one. We rate all of our stuff done through private money. Yep. You can do something called owner financing. So not just creative, but owner financing where the seller holds the note for you. So let me give you an example of that, Zedra, and see if this makes sense to you. You find somebody who wants to sell a house. That's the first step is to find someone who wants to sell a house, right? And you don't have the money to buy it. You find a house, the owner says, I'm willing to sell the house, but I want to sell it for 110,000. Let's say you run all your numbers and you say, gosh, I can only pay 100,000 with cash. So you say to them, listen, I'll give you the 110 that you want, but I'll give it to you when I sell the house in about six to eight months. So it's almost a 0%, and we've done this many times and it works really well. So I'll give you the amount you want for the house, but you'll get it as soon as I'm done with the house. You can do an owner finance, there's some paperwork to do there, you can do owner finance. They will allow you to come in, and then you have to find the money to do the renovations. Now that can be credit cards, a lot of times it is credit cards, or it could be somebody that loans you thirty, forty thousand dollars to do it. It could be, uh, uh, you know, a home equity line of credit. It could be. It's always going to be somebody else's money, right? If it's credit cards, that's somebody else's money. If it's um, uh, a partner or a friend, you got five friends loan you ten grand on their credit cards. You can get very clever with how you get the money for the renovation. Yeah, sometimes, sometimes you can even talk to the contractor and have him, you know, go in kind of as a partner with you. And um, he gets paid when the house sells. So there's there's all different ways to kind of find creative solutions to the to the deal. What is really cool is, you know, it's it's fear and lack of knowledge that holds people back from getting started in this business. And when you start to learn the ins and outs and the different methods and and kind of tricks of the trade that um, we're gonna show, we're gonna teach at the home flipping workshop. It takes that fear away, and then you can like really move forward in a positive direction with confidence, and that is when it gets really fun.